Hi there. Recently, my sister had a heart attack, and she's been put into a medically induced coma. And uh, I don't really have a picture of her, what she looks like, and uh, but I've been told by my brother-in-law and my mother, who got a chance to see her, that uh, there's all kinds of tubes and things like that hooked up to her. And I just thought I'd share with you uh, what I found on the internet, why they do that, in case you didn't know. So let me uh, read to you what I found on a website called reddick.com under Ask Science. The article is entitled, Why Are Heart Attack Victims Sometimes Put Into a Medically Induced Coma? The most likely scenario that could be imagined would be the setting of a cardiac arrest. A heart attack occurs when one of the coronary arteries that supplies the heart becomes blocked. As a result, the bit of heart muscle that artery was supplying blood dies. There are many possible consequences from this. Depending on how big a muscle it was and where the heart in the heart it was, but one catastrophic consequence is that it can make the entire heart stop beating. This is what we call cardiac arrest, and unless the patient gets prompt CPR, they die. The aim of CPR is to get the heart beating again and to continue to get blood to vital organs while doing so. However, if we are successful by restarting the heart, that is only part of the story. If it takes too long to restart the heart, or there was significant delay in starting the CPR when vital organs will have not received enough blood and may be damaged. While any organs may be affected, the most vulnerable is the brain. It's not an uncommon scenario to successfully resuscitate someone from a cardiac arrest only for them to have suffered devastating and irreversible brain damage. We are therefore very interested in anything that might protect the brain in patients who've been successfully resuscitated from cardiac arrest. In 2002, two independent studies were published in the New England Journal of Medicine, and there's a link. These studies suggest that deeply sedating and cooling the patients to around 34 degrees may result in better neurological outcomes. This has now become pretty much standard of care, and in the patient's in whom the heart has been restarted is common practice. Well, needless to say, I'm having trouble sleeping right now because I'm worried about my sister. She's so young, it this just doesn't seem like it could possibly be happening. But some things I'm thankful for are that my brother-in-law was there to help her and that the 911 uh, response team arrived in like three minutes so they were able to help her out very quickly before any real brain damage could occur and uh, the hospital here in Olympia St. Providence Hospital seems to be highly skilled at dealing with heart attacks and things like that so I'm thankful that we have good doctors in town here to help her out and that they've put her into this uh, medically induced coma to uh, protect her organs and uh, make sure there isn't so much damage that might have been done. So I hope you found this video helpful. I know uh, it helps me pass the time away rather than just spend a sleepless night worrying about my sister.